Okay, today we're going to talk about taking DICOM data from a CBCT and converting it into a file that is printable with a 3D printer. That file needs to be an STL file. We're going to use a couple different applications, and in this case I am using a CBCT scan of an impacted canine. Uh, we're going to digitally extract that impacted canine, print it, and create a Pontic. And then we'll also order a custom lingual bracket to include into the orthodontic treatment. First, we will need to download 3D Slicer. So just come to the internet. 3D Slicer is free. Here at the top, you can choose download. And I'm using a Windows, so I will choose a stable release here uh, and download. I've already done that. So here I'll open 3D Slicer. 3D Slicer will allow us to take the DICOM data and turn it into an NRRD file. Once we have the NRRD file, we can take it into a different program and that will convert it to an STL file for us. For DICOM data, I will come here and import. And I'll just import the entire folder. Copy. This may take a while to upload everything. It is a lot of information, a lot of files here. OK, our upload is complete. I will choose OK and select it. And now I'll load it from the DICOM browser to the new window in 3D Slicer to then save. And we want the NRD file here. Make sure this one is selected. And I will save it to my USB. Okay, and you should see your NRRD file here. So for part two of uh, the conversion, we are going to use a program called Embody 3D. It is also free. It's a really cool program. Um, you'll just have to sign up, create an account, and then you can start converting files. Um, so to do so, we will go up here to create, file download, and you want to select democratize 3D processing. Okay, and here you can add your file, and as you can see, it only processes NRRD files or STL files. So that's why we had to use Slicer before to convert the DICOM data. So here I will choose my NRD file and that will begin to upload. Then you will need to create a file name. I will call this Impacted Canine Demo. You can add hashtags um, for people who are searching and browsing things to download. It's up to you. It's optional. So we will need to add a little bit about the file. I will just say what we're doing here, and we are digitally extracting impacted canine for custom lingual bracket and pontic. So here, um, you'll want to make sure that the, the democratized 3D processing is on. And we are con converting the CTNRD to an STL file. This is really important here. We will want to increase the threshold or the hounds field um, to take away some of the bone and leave us with a working file for when we digitally extract it. Um, I typically found that anywhere between 900 and 1050 uh, really works. I will go ahead and start with 950. Quality medium is okay. And then we're just going to agree. 
save and submit the files. Okay, so then you'll see a little notification down here that it only takes up to 20 minutes for you to receive the STL file back and processed. It's really quick, it usually doesn't even take 20 minutes. Okay, so I am going to go to my profile, refresh, and see here is the impacted canine that we uploaded as an NRRD file, and then in literally two minutes we have our impacted canine back that has been processed. So we can go ahead and download this file. Agree and download. And here we have it. This is our STL file of an impacted canine. So in our next video, I will go ahead and demonstrate how to extract this canine and clean it up and get it ready for printing.